Usually on this channel, I talk about how to start an online business, but today I want to shift my focus. Regulations put in place to protect human lives in the midst of the coronavirus epidemic have definitely impacted our finances. That's why I think it's important, especially now, to talk about remote jobs. Remote jobs have a lot of things going for them. With remote jobs, you can make money from home, save money for your startup, and gain valuable experience that you can then take into your entrepreneurial journey or a separate career. And in fact, a lot of online entrepreneurs depend on remote workers to help them get their businesses up and running. So in this video, I'll share a list of the 10 best remote jobs. And these jobs suit many different skill sets and experiences. So whether you're a tech geek or a 100 words per minute writer, you're going to find something that you can do. Just make sure you watch this video all the way through because throughout this video, I'm going to share platforms that you can use to find these remote jobs. The first remote job is a translator. The internet is making this world a smaller place and businesses frequently have to figure out a way to talk to people in other countries. This is where a translator can help. A translator can work in a variety of roles for a business. For example, they can test a website, they can translate documents, and they can also proofread. Obviously, this is a job that requires you to be fluent in at least two languages. And if you're fluent in more than two languages, even better. If you're interested in exploring translator opportunities, head over to Fiverr. I've actually hired Fiverr translators to help me translate some documents and some social copy while I've been working here at Oberlo. So I can attest to Fiverr being a place that companies actually go to when they need someone to help translate documents and get the job done. The second remote job on our list is designer. Designers have a sought after skill set that many remote companies want. Designers can do anything from graphic design to designing Shopify themes to UX and UI design. And designers can do all of that while working remotely. Design roles do require design knowledge, but the good thing is that there are a lot of free resources to help you gain design knowledge for free. The good thing about remote design jobs is that there will be continued demand for them in the years ahead. Companies will continue to need well-designed websites, and for that, they're going to look for talented designers. A particularly good site to find design jobs is We Work Remotely. And actually, We Work Remotely is a great platform for finding jobs in development and marketing as well. Third on our list of remote jobs is Copywriter. Copywriters are like professional writers for businesses. They help businesses write anything from the language that appears on the homepage, to product pages, to even some emails used in email marketing. It goes without saying that you need to be a top-notch writer to be a good copywriter. But it also helps if you are persuasive. If you've got sales experience and you can put together a few sentences, then look for remote copywriting jobs. One good place to do that is on FlexJobs. FlexJobs has lots of different roles, and one thing that makes FlexJobs stand out is they're a place that a lot of bigger companies go to find remote talent. So whether you want to work for a startup or a bigger company remotely, FlexJobs is a good site to bookmark. Sorry, just a short interruption here. Uh, on Oberlo, we're going to be coming out with more videos than normal about how to start a business right now, what remote jobs you can look for, and how COVID-19 is impacting the economy. If this is stuff that you want to stay informed about, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions along the way, drop them in the comments. Myself and my team members here at Oberlo are here to help you. Okay, let's continue with our list. Next on our list of remote jobs is entrepreneur. Okay, this remote job is a little different because instead of working for someone else, you're working for yourself. But if you're looking for a remote job and nothing seems to fit, entrepreneurship could be the answer. Entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart. If you like the comfort of a nine to five job and you don't mind working when someone else tells you to work, then maybe these other remote opportunities are better for you. But if you hate being told what to do and you're willing to put in the work to learn a lot of different skills from scratch, entrepreneurship could be a great fit. If you're curious about entrepreneurship and specifically about e-commerce, then I encourage you to check out Oberlo 101. Oberlo 101 is a step-by-step -step guide to starting your first online business. I'll leave a link to it in the description below so you can get more information. Next up on our list of remote jobs, it's social media manager. If you're looking for a remote job that capitalizes on your experience scrolling through Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, a social media manager role might be perfect for you. Social media management can easily be done from home. 
What's important with this job is that you communicate with the brand that you're working for and with any other graphic designers or freelancers that are helping you put your social media content plan in place. To get a remote job as a social media manager, you have to have experience using the different social media platforms. But the good news is that you can learn this experience on the job. That's especially true if you start out working for a smaller company. As of filming, there's no such thing as a professional TikTok manager. TikTok just hasn't been around long enough for anyone to become an expert in it. Spend a lot of time on TikTok, talk to TikTokers, read about it, and then reach out to small businesses and offer to manage their TikTok strategy. Remotely, of course. The next remote job on our list is Digital Marketer. If you could sell ice to a polar bear, this job could be for you. Online marketer is a catch-all term for the many different marketing disciplines under this marketing umbrella. It could include search engine optimization, search engine marketing, affiliate marketing, and more. Remote marketing jobs are becoming more and more numerous, and that's especially because remote marketing doesn't require any physical equipment. All you need for remote marketing is the ability to stay on top of remote marketing trends and access to a few online tools. If you're interested in remote marketing jobs, I highly recommend that you check out Remote OK. Remote OK is a colossal job board with lots of remote jobs, marketing jobs included. Another cool thing about Remote OK is that they share statistics on trending remote jobs and top remote companies. Another remote job you might want to consider is virtual assistants. Virtual assistants make others' lives easier by doing those essential but time-consuming tasks. A lot of entrepreneurs and dropshippers rely on virtual assistants to get stuff done. For example, virtual assistants might help with fulfilling orders or managing calendars or even replying to some customer support emails. To be a virtual assistant, you must be highly organized. You also have to be a good communicator. And of course, you must be absolutely 100% trustworthy. The great thing about virtual assistant jobs is that they can be part-time or full-time. So if you want to launch a business but still make money on the side, consider becoming a virtual assistant and consider looking for virtual assistant jobs on Upwork. Upwork is a place where a lot of entrepreneurs go to find virtual assistants. So there's a good chance that if you start a profile there, you might just get discovered by your next employer. If you're good with people and love solving problems, this next remote job might be a good fit. It's a customer support specialist. This role requires you to use call or chat software to answer customer questions and solve problems. You need to have fantastic communication skills to succeed in this role. You also need to be able to get up to speed quickly on the product or service that you're providing support for. Just like a virtual assistant job, customer support jobs are available as part-time work or full-time work, making it an easy job to add on top of another job that you're already doing. The next job is Transcriber, and this is a remote job that's perfect for you if you're an excellent listener and a fast typer. Transcribers work to convert audio files into written text, and a lot of different professions rely on transcribers, from medical professionals to podcasters and many people in between. To be a transcriber, you have to master the ability to write quickly while you listen and not miss any details. Sounds simple, but it's rather hard to do. That's why it's a really in-demand remote job, and a lot of companies are going to continue to use transcribers in the months ahead. If you're looking for transcriber gigs, head over to Scribe. Scribe is one of many transcription services, but they're looking for new transcribers all the time. Finally, if you can do one type of remote job online, it is development. Whether you're an engineer, a full stack developer, an app developer, a game developer, you can do your job online and there are plenty of remote companies who are willing to pay you to do it. As well, you don't need to take a pay cut to do any of these jobs remotely. Your skills are so in demand that you've got a little bit of bargaining power with remote companies. If you're not a developer, search for free resources that will help you build this skill. Then offer to intern at a company to gain real life experience and your career will skyrocket from there. Once you're established in your field, check out TopTo. TopTo connects freelancers who have been vetted with companies that are looking for their skill set. Okay, that's a wrap on our list of the top 10 remote job opportunities. Now I'd love to hear from you. Have any of you worked a remote job before? And if so, how did you find it? Share your resources and your remote job hunting tips in the comments below, and I'll chime in with my thoughts. After all, I used to be a remote employee too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week here on Overlo's YouTube channel.